is work that I am excited about going to every day and I dream about when I close my eyes and plan while I'm walking in the forest. I can't actually stop thinking about textiles. <laughs> I like see walking down on the seawall and the way the like light shines on the water and I'm like, how could I weave that? And I <laughs> like go walk in the woods and I'm like, see the colors and I'm like, I want to weave that. My grandmother was a textile artist who went to school for it when she was in Finland when she was a girl. And I just remember lying under the loom, kind of being careful of all the parts and kind of watching her weave from underneath it. And, and uh, yeah, so I've just been around looms my whole life, but I didn't figure out how to use one until maybe the last couple of years. There's something that's like very tedious about it that I, maybe crazy people just enjoy, but everything about weaving takes forever. So it's, I'm always like joking that it's like, I'm almost done, I only have six more hours, like <laughs> of doing this tiny little thing. But there's something very ancient also about weaving. It's like there are hieroglyphs of ancient Egyptians like weaving on a loom that's essentially the same as what I'm weaving on. And there's like a connection to history that I find very interesting too. That everything's so automated now and you can just have cloth so easily and so, in, it's like so inexpensive to just, because machines make it and then you actually kind of get into making it thread by thread and how meditative that is and like how you know even a couple hundred years ago that was the only way to get cloth and that everything that's happened with fashion and just utilitarian cloth all before that time was made by like just hands all of the different rag rugs that were made out of old shirts from my papa and uncle's like work shirts she would cut into strips and make into rag rugs and I we're still using them in the family the like timelessness of the like those like quality textiles is like they really they become heirlooms in like part of your household and your wardrobe that are like very special. I'll have all of the things I've been working on uh, at the greenhouse at the Cedar Yellow Point Artisan Tour. It'll be fun to kind of show people what I've been working on and hopefully sell something. <laughs>